Hey guys, welcome to Photoshop Pro Help and today I'm going to be teaching this really cool spotlight effect. Now as you can see it works really well in images. Now this image here is of a watchtower and you can see the lovely stream of light which is the spotlight itself. Now you're really not too confined with uh, what pictures this works with. Now if I flip over to this one here, now it works with equally as well with this image as the other one but as you will notice that the color isn't right it should be dark blue and have some dark shades in it which I'm just showing you that if this does go wrong and you don't get the exact color that you want it's easily to tweak and change it back again so let's jump into things we've got our main image here and before we go any further I will say this if you have a nighttime image there is no point following these first few steps because I'm going to make the daytime image a nighttime image and if you have a nighttime image there's no point making it nighttime when it is already nighttime that would be a bit strange and stupid so first things first is skip if you have a nighttime image if you have a daytime image just keep rolling with the video so we're going to go and press ctrl and j on our keyboard to duplicate we're going to go up to layer, we're going to go to new adjustment layer and then we're going to go to hue and saturation and we're going to go click OK from here we're going to hit colorize we're going to change the color to a light blue so around about and that will be around about 180 to 220 for the hue and the lightness is going to be around about minus 40 to minus 70 you really have to make up the decision because each image is totally different so we'll go something like there hide that we're going to go to the second from the bottom our duplication layer and we're going to go to the burn tool which is on the left hand side underneath the dodge tool if you can't find it hold we're going to put the exposure to 60% at the top we're going to put the range to mid tones and you want a fairly large brush depending on the size of your image and all we're going to do is go and darken the image just around different places what this does is emphasizes um, it being night time and takes um, the uh, contrast of it being blue away because as you know it shouldn't be totally blue it should be different shades and everything so we just go around very lightly don't want to make it too dark then from here what we're going to do go press the top layer make a new blank layer on the bottom right hand side that button is and we're going to go to the elliptical marquee tool hold and click if you can't find it it'll be underneath the red and we're just going to go and put the circle out now if you're covering a an item or, or a person you will have to make the uh, basically the circle bigger to cover them now don't worry too much uh, you will have to change the settings depending on the size of your circle from here on so just be aware of that so what we're going to do from here is go to our paint bucket tool on the right hand sorry the left hand side sorry and we want the default color is white color that in we're going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and we want the radius to be around about 25 pixels but depending on the size of your circle if it's bigger you want to notch the radius up and if it's if the circle's smaller you want to notch the radius a little bit lower than 25 so once you've done that click OK we're going to change the blending option to overlay and we're just going to go and press Control and D to deselect now from here we need the stream of light so we go and make a new blank layer right hand side zoom in like that depending on the size of your circle you might have to zoom in and what we're going to do is go to the pen tool click the bottom of the circle and all we're going to do is we're going to go around the circle I'm just doing this very roughly you're going to have a lot more time than me you can even just press the top of the circle and bend the um, the line round and you'll actually get a proper fit with that and we're going to go click where the light is shining from and we're going to go and click where the light ends so here don't worry too much on the overlap we can easily sort that out we're going to right click make selection feather radius of one pixels click OK and now we're just going to do exactly the same as we did to the circle so we're going to take the paint bucket tool click on the white go to filter and the Gaussian blur will be at the top 
now you don't you can just press this and it'll automatically do it for you and we're going to go and change the blending option to overlay again control and D to deselect and we're going to zoom in oh sorry just changing the blending option again there we go we're just going to zoom in we're going to hit the eraser tool and we're just going to take out just the bits we don't need I'm not going to go over it because you're going to have a lot more time and there we go we have the spotlight now if you want the spotlight to be brighter all you have to do is duplicate those layers those two layers so control and J and there you go it's a lot brighter and you can do those for both those layers and they'll be a lot brighter depending on how bright you actually want it now I'm just going to delete that layer because I don't need it that bright now if you can see where the torch is coming from we might want to emphasize on how bright it is so if we make a new blank layer bottom right hand side go to the paintbrush default color is white zoom in on where it is I'm going to put the make the paintbrush a little bit smaller so we're just going to click once make the brush bigger by one pixel click again make the brush bigger by one pixel and click again and then So please play around with this, um, see what other effects you can create, and uh, please comment, rate and subscribe, and check out the website, and I'll see you next time guys, bye for now.